to Rimworld. Uh, we're going to do a overhaul playthrough of the Zombieland mod. So Zombieland made by Brains, who is the same person that made the no pause mod. That is the mod I use for everything. So I've heard this mod can be very punishing, very difficult. Uh, I am going in blind. I've not played this before. I've not really looked at it before. Uh, I haven't watched anyone else played it. And I'm adding some other things in to make it even harder. So I wouldn't doubt if we lose. So, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go into this. Alrighty, so we're doing a slightly altered tribal start, but you'll notice there's nothing crazy here. It's all basically the same, only I've changed the text, so for RP reasons. And in addition, the world is going to be destroyed in 600 days. <laughs> so we have 600 days to survive the zombie apocalypse and get as many people off the planet as possible. Basically, we're going to try to accept and save as many people as we can, as long as it's not like run ending. So if we have like a three star pirate off map quest to save someone and we're in the middle of something where we can't really get out and save them, we're not gonna be penalized for that. We're gonna do our best to try to save and accept everyone because we're trying to save as many people from this friggin' planet as we can, right? Uh, and if we don't finish it in 600 days, the world will be wiped of all life and unlife. Alrighty, fun, fun, fun for everyone. Aside from anyone left on the planet. We're gonna play with Randy. We're gonna set um, this to losing is fun. Normal losing is fun is 220% difficulty. We're gonna pump that up to 500, which is the max. We might wanna turn off unwavering so that we can save more people. The only thing I'm thinking about changing is unwavering. And that's just cause we're trying to save as many people from the planet as possible. And if they're unwavering, we can't, yeah. There we go. The unwavering will be the zombies. Otherwise, everything is the same. Everything is default. Alrighty, I haven't read through all this. This setting controls the difficulty of almost all things in zombie land. Abilities of zombies like senses, toughness, speed, power. In particular, special zombies are affected and the threat forecast will be much worse on higher difficulties. 500% is really, really difficult, so be warned. All right, let's try 500. It starts at 100. Let's try 500%. <laughs> you will face never-ending invasions of zombies. The setting controls the overall pace and rhythm of the game. The three modes are quite different, so make sure you choose the right one for your playstyle. So we're going to start out harder. We're going to start out zombies all the time. I don't know how we're going to caravan, man. We're going to have to, like, go out and clear a way to caravan sometimes if we make it to caravanning. <laughs> zombies will attack all living things, including creatures. That can be bad, though. Because if the creature wins and it's angry, it's going to come after us. Oh, well. <laughs> like I said, we'll ease up on this if it ends up being too hard. What is this? Amount of zombies that will push over walls. When a group of zombies gets too dense, this will define the number of zombies that will push over other zombies over walls. The other side of the wall is part of a roofed room. That roof will be damaged. Oh God, 18. That doesn't sound like that many. All right, we'll leave it as is. I <laughs> set it for one. <laughs> Every single zombie can go over a wall. And I'm gonna choose a bad starting map. Guys. Human Mouth Swamp. We're going to the swamp. This is going to be terrible. Human Mouth Swamp seems perfect. <laughs> That's where you want to go. That's where you want your refuge to be if the world's getting taken over by zombies. Uh, we're not doing Superman Max where you go fluid so we can we can cheese some things. However, we're not doing cannibalism. Not cannibalism. I only have Supremacist for the shooting specialist. I think that we're going to try not to eat meat because they're worried about you know, it being contaminated. However, bugs coming up from the earth, they're like, oh, meat, one of the only sources that we know that are not contaminated. Eat zombies? Yeah, it seems like a bad idea. So no, we're not gonna do that one. <laughs> uh, however, they have grown insensitive, or uh, yeah, about seeing corpses. So they don't care about seeing the corpses anymore. They're used to that kind of thing. Uh, the other stuff is just pretty standard. We're gonna do Sky Lantern Festivals. The reason I picked this is because it's a quiet festival that will hopefully signal people to come um, for sanctuary right and then this mod apparently adds one new weapon type the chainsaw so hopefully we get a chance to go get the relic the legendary chainsaw named ash seems appropriate so otherwise like you saw it's very it's mostly min maxed but a little rp ish we are doing a tribal start but it's a modified tribal so if you saw the beginning the rp of it is not that these are tribal these are five people that survive their city being taken over or town being taken over by zombies they ran away, they have basically nothing, and they're trying to get out. Okay, I don't know this map or anything, so we need to get rice planted immediately. Maybe I shouldn't have went with a hard map. Uh, like I said, if, if this ends up being too hard, we'll we'll lighten up one thing at a time, so. All right, zombies in the zombies in the swamp, take one. Uh, let's get started here. Go ahead and allow all the things, weapons. Oh my God, our random animals, two cats, two cats. 
Okay, I hate the swamp. Thank goodness we're here. Look, look how little building space. There's a little building right down from us, speaking of. There's the anima tree. That's not too bad. All right, we're going to uh, start out with this building here. Now, one good thing about the swamp is this. There's like more rich soil than you could ever, ever hope for. So let's go ahead and uh, get a growing zone started here. And we're just going to get rice in there. So that'll be uh, good. We're going to overproduce the rice a little bit. No, normal enemies still exist. Yeah, the zombie stuff is separate from the storyteller. So we get to deal with both. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up here. Put in a few doors. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely get moved over to a different building very quickly. So we just want to get them, you know, a building for the first night. That way we can get some mood out of that. Furniture, we can't make beds yet. So we'll just uh, throw in those. But what we can do is we can go ahead and make table so at least they don't eat without a table and we can't even make chairs so we gotta make stools all right let's see what this says over here two days 19 hours till zombies so we have three days to build before zombies get here and planet killer the planet will be destroyed in 600 days excellent excellent so three days until zombies get here um so we want to claim all this so they can also start repairing it get some recreation going do a hoopstone ring We've got our basics set up for the night. We want to get this um, built, so hopefully they will be able to sleep indoors. So the lay of the land, the lay of the land. Um, so we'll get an initial wall up there. We can actually cover a bit of ground here, and then maybe someday we can expand out further. But for now, that's about what I'm thinking. With the rich soil on this side, I guess we'll position the barracks like here-ish. Man, we're going to end up having to expand out into this section. If we actually try to take everyone like I was talking about, which let's try it. We're going to need to expand this out into a lot of this pretty quickly. I guess we can just do like a three room setup right now. All right, steel column. We do want some steel for the research benches. We'll just go ahead and rip those down. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna go maybe straight into making that outer wall because we got we got two days and I don't know how things are gonna be so we can add doors later Wooden walls. Oh god. No our cat. Oh, no. Who was it bonded to? I had like no time at all Well rest in peace toby Uh, let's set up some zones <laughs> Whoa, what is this? What is this? The zombie mod changes this stuff I don't like this at all. I don't like change. Okay, we need a fueled stove. Hey, Jock, let's make that stove a little bit more important. We'll expand on the rice fuel, but for now, let's just grab more of the berries that are around. Let them go about their stuff for a little bit. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna like freaking wall ourselves in for now, and then it's gonna be brutal when the fire comes. When the fire nation gets here, we're screwed. But we gotta have some kind of protection from the zombies. For now, also wondering if turrets are going to be good against the zombies. We'll have to test that out too. Should be fun to test things and see see what ends up being a uh, Indian, not you know. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Look at that. There's a forecast for the zombies. Rice needs to get in real soon. People are going to be really hungry really fast. Castaway revenge. No, it's not fair. Oh my god, there's so many already. What? There's 250 zombies on that. We are dead. <laughs> we are so dead. Oh my god, that's so many. 300. It's just it's just going up. Maybe we shouldn't have put 500 on 500%. Holy crap. <laughs> Can I even see them? Oh my god. It's just a we're not going to be able to go trade. Why is that one blue? Well, looks like we're going to be clearing out the queue a bit today. There's almost 400 zombies. And that's only at 73% threat. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be a terrible night. What is that? Hey, uh, Pog, let's get inside. Just 
Seems like somewhere you might not want to be. <laughs> Rhino Revenge? It angered the whole pack? For Christ's sake. Why am I in the tropics? That was a fun first run. People are going to starve to death. What is happening? There's like a smoke screen or something. I need those rhino to like chill out. Man, we were so close to getting the wall done. This rhino go away. We can finish the wall, but I think people are going to start starving before we, uh, we get a real chance. We might have to eat the cat. Oh, we might have to eat the cat and survive. You hear that, Ares? <laughs> you change the animals attack the zombie setting has been run. I don't know what all you can change. Yeah, that's a good question. That might be a good one to have them not attack animals, huh? Yeah, you can do it. Otherwise, it's just going to anger animals nonstop. We're going to have battle music always. Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. Animals attack zombies. Oh, okay. So at the moment, animals aren't fighting back against zombies. That's the problem. Okay. There we go. Let's, let's see how that is first. It'll be interesting if we can survive until we see... Oh no, they're coming! They're already here! I don't know how we're, we're gonna clear this to get the wall done. Oh my god. I also set them to smart, so they're not just... They're not just wandering the jungle. They're literally... Collapsing in. Oh god, what happened? Low food? Oh, I don't... I'm gonna have to kill the cat, guys. It's not bonded to anyone. We might have to kill it before it bonds. Oh, I'm sorry, cat. Sorry. We're so close by already. There's some inside the walls already. <laughs> they even have good armor on most of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're here. Sorry, kitty. We're all de almost dead anyway. Is moving to another tile an option? I wouldn't be able to get out of here. <laughs> There's no way to get to the edge. Uh, remember, at 18, they're going to overcome this wall and we're going to lose, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to start crash landed, guys. There's no friggin' way. Alrighty. Well. Oh! <laughs> uh. Alright, GG. On to attempt two. It's the first time I lost any run since Biotech came out almost a year ago. Dangerous situation. There are zombies pushed over your walls. You don't say. Here comes a man in black. Man in black named White. Oh my god, he's immediately attacking the rhinos. What is this? Automatically avoid zombies, except when when drafted. Well, uh, this is how we clear out that 2,500 person queue. <laughs> it multiplies the default difficulty, so 5% and 5% means it's actually 2,500%. 2,500%. Let's try again. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and allow all. Uh, just grab whatever weapons are nearby. Hey, we got a dog this time named Sinbad. Look at that. We actually have a little bit more space this time than on the, the last setup. Not that it's going to probably matter, but but if we survive, we have uh, the room for an actual okay size base in there. It's kind of nice. It's not, not as much uh, unbuildable terrain. I maybe should not have set them as smart zombies either because they're actually coming straight to the base without any provocation right from the very get-go. But again, we'll we'll play around with that as uh, as we move forward. Uh, people are going to be getting hungry really soon. Rice is nowhere near. We also have less berries growing close by this time. I think if we, when we fail this one, we'll try... Either switching to crash landed, so we have guns at least. Or we'll turn off the smart part where they always come to the base. Mountain base would be... Yeah, this would be kind of cool in a mountain base too, so... We can even try one of those, you know, as, as we progress. Fighting bugs from the inside and then zombies from the outs. Maybe. A raid? I don't have time for a raid, Randy, you jerk. Oh my god. Four guys with guns, I have nothing set up. Randy, we're trying to do other things. <laughs> That's going to put us behind on that. For sure. I don't think anyone's... Yeah, no one's good at fighting, so... Yeah, let's go. See how much damage you do. Probably die. We're probably dead. There goes our rice.
Yep. <laughs> we forewent everything else to get uh, a wall started, so we're screwed. Randy just attacked us really early. We, we can't stop the fire. That's one of the problems of these maps, too. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, the rain, the rain. The rain might save us here. All right, rain save us a little bit. Got some uh, some guns. They're not great, but they are guns. Fire mechanic is way too fast. It yeah, it is. Well, it can be pretty annoying sometimes how fast it is. And other times, when you really need it though, you can be sitting there like asking, "Rain, Randy, spare some rain." What? Someone turned into a zombie. They died right after. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, headshot. I don't know who got him. Someone got him. Zombie extract. Small amount of ex extract from a dead zombie. Combine up to 100 extract craft a drug called zombie serum that is used in operations on infected body parts. Okay. Also, do I need to like do anything to this? I'm not sure. What? No. <laughs> Uh, I can't select it. All right, we're starting to get the wall up. Maybe we'll have it done in time. I doubt it, but how long do we have until the planet killer? 600 days. Uh, we'll be lucky if we... Very lucky if we ever last 600 days. We might have to do some, like, extreme min-maxing here. But yeah, we might... If we keep doing this one, we might have to do either turn the, the smart zombie part off or turn the wall crash off, one or the other. We have less than a day to get the wall done. They won't be here immediately when they spawn, though. It's going to take them a little bit. It's going to take them to that night, probably, to get to our base. But it's like um, Winston Wave seemed impossible when we first did it. And I lost, like, 16 runs in a row, Winston Waves. But little by little, run after run, we, uh, we learned some things that we could do to survive a little longer each time. So that's all we're going to do for these we might not make any progress today other than learning it's half the battle gi joe two hours okay well they're here there's 27 we need to get this wall done by tonight which i mean we're about to get it done and then we'll see from there about doubling it up randy really screwed us over that first raid too but i don't think any of the other raids are gonna be getting to us for a while <laughs> Maybe the zombies will kill like a raider that has assault rifles and we'll be able to scoop them up. There are 175 zombies on the map at the moment. Less than last time. Last time we got unlucky and got the full threat like on the first day or whatever. It went up to 500. Shrug, say nothing in the stream every time the song starts up. <laughs> well, guess that's the end of the stream. Got our first layer of wall in. Low in food though, and it's going to be near impossible to go out and get more. Yeah, some of the zombies have uh, special things that we don't know about yet. Look at this guy. He's got riot gear. It's interesting you can't click them. Oh, that one's strapped with dynamite. <laughs> oh my god. It's over 300 zombies already. That zombie has a bomb. Oh. Well. He took some others with him. So, here they are, though. So, the, the problem is, like I said, we have the smart zombies. So, we're probably just going to lose because they're able to get over that wall. I don't know how they react to double walls. We're going to find out. That'll be part of what we uh, test here. Test this for the next run. They can smell through the door. Yeah, we're screwed. We got screwed already. So they're gathered on the side that has the door. Okay. What? We're dead. GG. <laughs> My God. All right. So we're going to have to turn off the gather at the smart gather or else we, there's no possible way to survive because they just grouped so quickly. 
we can try to wait. When's the threat going down to zero? If we can survive for six more days, they'll all die. I don't think we can. Yeah, this is uh, them being smart and immediately coming to the base. Yeah, the doors. It doesn't matter if the doors open anyway. We're dead either way. I guess I should have shut it, but. So what would it be like to kite them, I wonder? Kiting will be fine if we just get to that point. It's going to be very hard, though, because we're going to be running into other zombies as we kite. That'll be pretty fun. Yeah, there's no surviving this. There's no surviving it, this one. All right. We go again. Oh my god, there's a little zombie... A chubby zombie girl. Lots of really highly armored ones as well. Like, lots of armored ones. They can group up like crazy. They, ha they seem to not have collision when they're meleeing. That's good to know. Anything else we can gather from this? There's that slow armored one. Alright, let's go again. Let's go again. All right, let's go ahead and uh, allow all the things. We'll just grab weapons on whoever for right now, and we'll look closer at it later. All right, uh, very standard, just flat map. Repairs, turn off home zone. Okay, there is very little rich soil that we can wall in. I kind of like the idea of being nearish the edge over there, but uh, it has, its other pro has other problems, right? Go ahead and start rice here. We don't have to actually clear out freaking 5,000 trees to get the rice started. So that's going to help us a whole lot. And then uh, basic wall around this. We actually want to double wall it. So let's shrink this a little. And we'll get an initial wall. We can expand out to the geothermals later, I guess. We'll just like plan out a little of this space. I don't know that we'll ever get to the point where we use it in this run, but we'll plan it out. Should be more space than we like ever can really utilize but if we don't get that much done we can uh we can start with a much smaller one like divide it here okay so we're gonna do a uh, wooden table here we go get that done what do we get for animals this time oh we got two horses and a cat hmm. we might end up doing some ranching then that would actually help a lot with uh condensing how big of an area we need for our food oh i didn't even check the gender though not a breeding pair nope two female but still not not bad, not bad. So you know what? Should we just go ahead and push for pawns now? We're not going to have the food, but this might be our only chance to try to get it. I push pawns now because it'll be nearly impossible to get anyone from the edge of the map after the early game. I think we got to risk it. Try to get ahead. The real downside, though, is if Randy hits us early again before the zombie stuff comes, which he did last time. So we might want to make like a little trap tunnel, actually, just to start out with. So uh, if Randy hits first... We at least have some semblance of defense. Yeah, I think I am going to run this, though. Let's just do it now. Takes up some time, though. Oh, we got one. Got one right off the bat. Welcome back. Utah. Brawler, Pyro, Quick Sleeper. Pyro with all the wood walls. Uh, Another cook. Art. Okay. That means we can put them on cooking as secondary. All right, we'll name you in just a minute. Let's go again. Five days, man, oh man. This is run three already, yep. We have switched over to a non-swamp map because we just couldn't get enough done. I was hoping he'd come with a gun. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got another one. Steve. 14-year-old pessimist. All right. You can be doing the mining then. This miner will be the colony miner. Thanks, Steve. Five days. Jesus Christ. Okay, as long as are in four days, we'll have this little trap area set up for in case randy attacks before then we have one more festival to do new lovers already usual adam and rich all right, all right let's do this get the wall done we only got two out of six. Ooh. how long to the rice is in it is about to be in so let's go ahead and expand walls to cover this it's in the work zone rice is done so Okay, this is attempt number three. Well, I mean, I've never really done a full scenario of it. Yeah, I've just played around with it for fun, but yeah, I've never done a full Planet Killer scenario. 
Definitely puts us on a timer. I guess we'll pro man, we're either gonna have to build, if we ever get that far, we'll have to build multiple ships or we will have to do the royalty ending. I don't know how in the world we'll do that. So maybe, yeah, maybe we just get to the tin and just die and be like, all right, we have some predators trapped in here with us. We should probably take care of them. But yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna put a door on this. I mean, if a breach spawns, gets through the zombies and opens up our wall for the zombies to come in. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have the outer wall done in time. And for now, I'm literally just gonna wall us in. We'll see, uh, see what happens. Get some research done. We'll get beds and we'll double up on the walls. One day, two hours. But yeah, let's uh, let's knock out the research for this. And uh, we need to get the barracks impressiveness up a little bit while they're not doing much else. So go ahead and plant some day lilies. I have no idea how we're gonna get more pawns other than vat grown children, maybe. We might have to raise vat grown children to fight the zombie horde. New lovers, man, we might end up having to raise children to survive if we last that long. Why did you have me to fight the zombie apocalypse? The zombie horde. 10 hours. All right. Um, let's try to get electricity done. <laughs> Good luck with that. But Oh, stone cutting. All right. Okay, let's get some beds in here. Both of our construction people have about the same, but knits a little bit better. Let's go ahead and do eight. All right, we got some beds that'll, that'll help. Eric's is very impressive already. Uh, how many lovers do we have? We do need to make a couple of double beds. I don't remember what we got for our. Yeah, we have free love, so we do need to make the double beds. Okay. Hopefully, they'll assign themselves a war merchant. All right, let's start uh, working on the double wall. I don't know how that's going to work with them, but we're going to find out. Oops. The game runs a lot slower with this mod on. Ah, uh, the zombies are here. Wait, what? How is there over 500? It's 574. That's an additional thing. So the zombies are here and there's a zombie attack. Oh, geez. They're already sensing people on the other side of the wall. Oh, God. How long until they die? We have to survive like three more days and they'll die. How's the war merchant doing? Oh, that might not be good. Maybe they'll kill some on the way. Flame bows might be decent for this run. Yeah, I wonder what a burn box would do. If we had like a perpetual burn box going. Get a mechanitor and just alternate scorchers in there. Eating up a box. How do the zombies do in the colds? Does the cold affect them? I don't know that either. Might be, well, I did notice that these dug up from the ground, the normal attack, so I have a bad feeling about that. <laughs> well, I'm curious what's going to happen when these guys start to try to leave. Was was that tortoise taking chunks out of them? The, there's mining ones! No! <laughs> Uh oh. All right. Well, we've learned about the miner zombie now, so. Well, that's. It's not great news. Uh oh. All right, the tribals are. This we got the tanky one there. They're like gathering around it, kind of like how they gather around boss mechs. Man, that thing takes a lot of hits. What? Holy crap! Actually, I have to break through all the armor. Rich is already pregnant. Well, I said that might be one of our only ways to get pawns. Oh, man. I didn't necessarily want it to happen, though. There's this another one. So they definitely group around those tanky ones. We gotta be careful, because if the group is big enough, they will come over the walls. There's little groups of them gathering. These guys are actually making it out. Man, getting allied to call in traitors might be a good idea. Oh, God. If if very many more get there, they'll be able to come over the wall and we're dead. So we'll get walls doubled up and then we got to try to get to guns. Oh, what? No, no, no. He broke that wall. So it isn't just the miners that can break them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think we have enough firepower. That entire uh, group couldn't take him out. 
We're smarter than the average raider somehow, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to kite kill those. I don't even know. Try not to aggro them until we get some uh, some of this made. Yeah, it's true. We do have a Pila. Might have to start as crash landed so we can get to guns. All right, well, we're gonna have to try. Fire starting spree? <laughs> That's a really bad time. <laughs> oh my God. I keep an eye on the house. Possibly burning down over there. I'm sure that's about to happen. Mm -hmm.